In this video, we demonstrate how to create accessible emails in Outlook. Outlook provides tools and settings to allow you to write emails with accessible content which can be read by adaptive technologies like screen reading software, also known as screen readers, and by people with visual impairments. To ensure you are creating accessible emails, the first setting to check or change is mail format. There are three email formats available. Plain text, which are often system generated messages. Rich text, the common default. Most emails you will receive will be in this format. And HTML, which is the recommended format allowing you to apply full formatting to text, insert lists, apply heading styles for structure, and add alt text to images. To set the default mail format to HTML for all new emails, click File, Options, Mail. Under Compose Messages, change the Compose Messages in this format to HTML, then click OK. There is no option to set the default mail format for replies. This needs to be changed on a message by message basis. When replying to an email, Outlook retains the mail format that the message was originally sent in. To change this, click reply as normal, then click pop out. This gives you access to more of the email formatting options. Click the format text tab, then in the format group, Click HTML. This will allow you to create an accessible reply and apply formatting if required. The next setting to adjust in Outlook is the font. This can be set for all outgoing emails, including replies. To write accessible emails, it is recommended that the font type should be sans serif, such as Arial. The minimum font size should be 12 and italic formatting should always be avoided. If changing the font color, Keep contrast in mind and ensure the text stands out against the background. For example, using light color fonts on a white background can be hard for a person with a visual impairment to read. The font color automatic can help avoid issues with contrast. When the dark background is applied, perhaps to ease with reading, the font color will change automatically to ensure there is good contrast. The accessibility checker can help you identify contrast issues prior to sending an email. We'll look at this later in the video. To set the default font for all emails and replies, click File, Options, Mail. Under Compose Messages, click the Stationery and Fonts button. From the Personal Stationery tab, under New Mail Messages, click the Font button. Set the font to Arial, Regular, Size 12, then click OK. Click the font button under replying or forwarding messages and apply the same font settings. Arial, regular, size 12. Click OK to save the changes. For consistency, you may want to apply the same font settings to your email signature. To do this, Click the Signatures button under Compose Messages in the Mail Settings. Select the content in the Edit Signature box and apply the same font settings. Click Save and repeat for any other signatures you have. The next consideration for accessible email content are backgrounds. These should be kept as simple as possible, ideally with a single colour or, better still, no background at all. Receiving an email with a picture or patterned background can be hard to read, even without a visual impairment, and when replying or forwarding to an email with a patterned background, Outlook retains the background. To make your replies accessible, click Reply or Forward as appropriate, then click Pop Out. Click the Options tab, then in the Themes group, Click Page Color and select No Color. Outlook, like Word, allows you to format text with heading styles and lists. 
This allows people using assistive technologies like screen readers to navigate your email message and read content in the order it was intended. In the new message window, select the text you want to format as a heading. Here, I'll select the first line, Digital Accessibility Playlist. Then click the Format Text tab. In the Styles group, click an appropriate heading style. Continue until all headings have been formatted using heading styles. Styles are covered in more detail in our Creating Accessible Documents video titled Applying Heading Styles for Structure. And more information on working with styles can be found on the training intranet page for Word and in the Working with Chapters and Styles video available in the Word Working with Long Documents playlist on our YouTube channel. If you include links in your emails, ensure they make sense out of context. You can do this by providing meaningful display names and avoiding text like click here or more. Screen readers can provide a list of links in an email and if all the links in the email say click here, it isn't very helpful to an email recipient relying on assistive technologies. To make an existing link more accessible, right click on it and select edit hyperlink. Change the content in the text to display field to something more appropriate. To further enhance your links, click the screen tip button and enter a description that will appear when hovering over the link. This could be what will happen when a person clicks on the link. In this example, I will also amend the sentence to replace the word click with visit the. To insert a new link, type the display text into the body of the email. Then select it and use the keyboard shortcut Ctrl and K. Type or copy and paste the URL into the address field. Click the screen tip button and enter a description that will appear when hovering over the link. Then click OK. Before sending an email, use the accessibility checker to help identify and fix any accessibility issues still present. Please be aware the accessibility checker does not recognize all accessibility needs and only checks for the most common and most visual. What we have demonstrated up to this point has been best practice when composing and replying to emails. Let's see if there's more we need to do. From the review tab in the accessibility group, click check accessibility. The inspection results are displayed in the accessibility pane on the right of the screen. There are further adjustments required in this email to ensure the content is accessible. The results are grouped as errors and warnings. Click on each one and expand each item to see more information. The error, missing object description, refers to the picture in the body of the email not having any descriptive alt text applied. And the warnings refer to the hard to read text contrast in the bulleted text caused by the yellow font on the white background. I'll address the text first by selecting the bulleted list and changing the font color to automatic. Best practice when including lists like this is to apply numbering or bullets using the appropriate command from the ribbon rather than, as is the case here, manually typing the dashes or bullets. Any images you insert into your emails will need a description or alt text describing the content of the image. From the accessibility pane, I have the option to add a description or suggest a description for me. Alternatively, right click on the picture and select view alt text. Enter the alt text in the box provided or click generate alt text for me. If you are happy with the auto text, remove the line description automatically generated. If not, for example, this automatically generated text is too generic and doesn't truly describe the image with enough detail. Replace with your own description, then close the alt text pane. The email is ready to be sent when you see no accessibility issues found. A final piece of advice regarding images you should try to avoid using a picture as the sole content of an email, as shown here. If the content must be an image only, you need to ensure you add alt text explaining the information that is portrayed through the image.
If you have accessibility needs yourself, you can indicate this in your mail settings. When anyone begins to address an email to you, they'll see an alert pop up notifying them that you prefer accessible content and they'll be prompted to check for accessibility issues. To enable this feature, sign in to office.com. Then from the navigation icons on the left, click Outlook. Click the settings icon in the top right corner. Then click General, Accessibility. Tick the option to ask senders to send content that's accessible and save the change. Be sure to check out the digital accessibility playlist on our YouTube channel for more videos like this one.